is going on everybody welcome back to phones and drones if you guys can believe it we have not received a watch os update in almost a month since watch os 10.4 rc was released finally today apple is back on track with ios 17.5 vision os 1.2 watch os 10.5 all these beta ones and some other ones along the way however if you follow the channel we did just release our video on ios 17.5 beta 1 and it still looked a little disappointing from outside looking in without deeper dives we actually found things as simple as charging tags not even reflecting properly uh it looked more of coding than a proper tag that user facing should see so i preface all this with i'm not too basically i'm just not too hopeful for what this is going to have as far as new features goes for a new dot release anyways let's do our typical song and dance take a look at the build number and go from there. All right, watchOS 10.5 beta one just finished installing. And uh, yeah, right off the bat, not too surprising, but it looks very similar to 10.4. The file size for this update was around 400 megabytes. And let's go ahead and take a look at the build number here by jumping into settings, general, about. And as you can see, 10.5 currently has a build of 21T55, 45F. Now, this F build does correlate perfectly well with iOS 17.5. It also was an F build. And since we are already in April, this operating system, watchOS 10.5, could actually be one of the last iterations of watchOS 10. Because as we know, in June, WWDC is right around the corner and we will get watchOS 11 iOS 18, Vision OS 2, and a slew of other new updates. So keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and quickly jump around the OS here and see what we can see. And then after that, I do want to go ahead and take a quick glance into Double Tap again and see what we have there. Uh, as you can see right off the bat, everything is loading pretty well, actually. Nothing too surprising right now. Um, let's just jump around cities, go to Seattle, and it seems to be very smooth in this regard. Let's keep jumping around really quick. Let's just go into the App Store. So everything is working as you would anticipate and hope, uh, which is obviously great to see. But I do want to call out one thing before we continue on with this. As I said in the intro, watchOS 10.4 came out four weeks ago. That's 28 days. And for almost a month's turnaround time to not see any client or customer facing new features, that is somewhat surprising. And what's even more surprising, I think you guys are going to get a kick out of this. Let's go into the feedback app. One of the main concerns we've had recently with these iterative builds here are the lack of new features and really anything to pull new customers into the ecosystem to buy an, I an Apple Watch. And nothing speaks more to this than these new release notes here. So for once, actually, Apple timely released the feedback notes on the feedback app. And take a look at this. Watch OS 10.5 beta release notes. That is it. There is a resolved issue in StoreKit that says it's fixed an issue where the terms of service button of subscription store view could cause a crash when tapped. Guys, that's it. I, you can't make this up. There is literally nothing else in a full dot release here other than that. That is somewhat surprising. I mean, usually in subsequent dot dot releases, 10.4.1 or whatever that might eventually come, you would anticipate stuff like this to be the case, but as a primary main build, that to be the only release note, very surprising. So again, let's go ahead and put the watch on. Let's jump back in the Apple Watch app and check out one of the things we always talk about, and that's gestures and double tap. Again, as you can see here, nothing has been added to Double Tap. Let's give it a try again, though, just to kind of see where we're at. And you can see, luckily, it is still working pretty well. Uh, but again, after all this time, that Double Tap is all we have. Kind of conf I I'm shocked, guys, honestly. I mean, I'm kind of flabbergasted. I would think that's some of the easiest stuff for Apple to add to these you know, new features on the watches, but... Anyways, I'm just venting here. I don't want to keep dragging this video on. Let us know in the comments down below. Do you agree? Is there anything new in any new watch OS that we've had recently that really wows you? I'm curious. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.